Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lab and today I'm going to be doing this. This is Boss Brewing and it's called Boss Brave. It's 5.5% and it is a Welsh IPA. It says that right there on the front. This one came from Asda uh, for something like £2. Um, never had it before, never had Boss Brewing. Um, but thought it'd give it a go, be a like, nice little try. Um, I don't really do many Welsh ales or Welsh IPAs on here, this channel, um, mainly because not really many places do them, um, but this is a Welsh company, so anyway. Um, Guff on the side says, brewed with American prize hops, this IPA has the volume turned up uh, to just the right level without the hops being overwhelmingly deafening. Prepare to be dazzled by a stunning explosion of exotic citrus fruits and grapefruit before Gripping before a gripping piney finish that'll have you diving back for more. It says the aroma is lush tropical fruit cocktail or a lush tropical fruit cocktail, elderflower and rose. The flavour is zingy grapefruit, zing, uh, zesty citrus, um, a spicy and piney kick to finish, and then it says perfect with your favourite Indian curry takeaway, a meaty burger, fajitas, and a lemon tart. Um, Oh wow, actually, okay. So, it says to enjoy, stand this bad boy in the fridge for one to two hours before pouring or drink from the bottle like a boss. Uh, I'm going to drink in my glass because I want people to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, but it's not been stood up like that. It's been like that. And I pulled it out and I've seen a massive chunk of something at the bottom. So, it should be interesting. Um, it's gluten-free and vegan-friendly, which is always nice. Um... There is a double IPA, they're uh, promoting their own stuff, I'm just going to say what it is. It says, try our double IPA, Boss Black, Fluffy, um, very own Brewer Dog. There. Apparently they've got their own dog. And then, yeah. Anyway, that's all the guff. Best before is some dodgy, I can't read it. It's it's half printed, so I can't really tell. Uh, no guff. The can art is quite nice. Um little Welsh flag there and then a nice comic book style all of it's in comic sans so yeah anyway uh let's crack it open shall we and see what we've got hold on okay sorry about that I thought I had a bottle of anyway let's crack it open I have to use my keys there we go what have we got Put that back there. So we have got ooh, nice copper colour beer. Um, bit of carb on the glass. Ivory looking head, compact bubbles. Looks like the business. So let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? It smells like an ale. It smells like a real ale. There is elderflower in there. Not an overpowering, but there is there is elderflower in there. What they say was in there. Lush tropical fruit cocktail. Yeah, I can't really smell that. It smells like a proper real ale, something you get in a pro proper pub ale. Um like Witchwood, something like that. But it does have an elderflower hint to it. It smells nice. Um mouth, body and carb. Carbs light, body is medium. So far, so good. I'm gonna give it a top up. Interestingly enough, there's no floaters, which surprises me because there was, I swear, there's a massive chunk about the size of my nail just floating around the bottom. Anyway, um, big old taste. Cheers. Oh, it's fruity. It does have a bit of zesty kick to it. it tastes like a real ale. Um, 
but it, it it's not a typical boring wheel aisle. It, it's got its nice own little kick to it. Kick. It does have some zesty tropical fruits, uh, citrusy fruits in there. Um, lemons, limes, bit of grapefruit. It's nice. It's warm. Well, it's certainly warm. It's been in the fridge, so it's cold, but it's got a warm way about it. Um, more like a uh, peppery warm, not a heat warm, just like a spice warm, but it's not spicy. Uh. Pardon me. What does it say it was on the flavour? Citrus, yeah. Spicy, yeah. It does, it has that spice to it. Not in, like, say, overpowering. Not in, like, what is it? That one. That that was spicy. It's not like that. It's just a nice, warm way about it, like a pepper. Just a nice little sprinkle of pepper in it. A woody taste as well. Right at the back. It's, it's good. It's actually quite nice. Not that I wasn't going to say it was bad, but... It's it's quite a nice beer. Um, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be another cheap one from you know Morrison's as the cheap old beer, but it's not. It's actually well, it is cheap, but it's good cheap. Um, yeah, it's actually really good cheap. I'm going to go away and enjoy that. So, um, Boss Brings Boss Brave Welsh IPA out of ten. Um, I'm happy to give that a nice eight. Eight and a half. Definitely. Very, very nice. Definitely worth buy again. Um Yeah, eight out eight, eight and a half out of ten. I wouldn't give it a nine, but it does deserve a very high rating. Um so if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, leave I'll leave a link to their brewer, see if I can find one. I'll leave a link to their website. Um if not, just go down to your Morrison's or Asda or Tesco or Sainsbury's. I'm sure they'll have it somewhere. It's on their website. Um, yeah. If you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff, if you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.